hundreds of people visit a Pueblo farm every May in search of peonies. And some are from the area, others are even from out of state. And this season will be different though. The flowers will bloom like always, but there won't be anyone around to enjoy them. I think we'll probably always sell flowers. 51 weekends out of the year, La Resolana Farm belongs to the Trujillo family. My grandmother grew up gardening. On Memorial Day weekend, the farm's doors are open to everyone. When the peonies are at their peak, we invite the community to come for the weekend. In 2019, it was like 2,000 people came. Gabriela Trujillo's grandparents, Judy and Juan, bought the place in the late 60s. Not much has changed in the past five decades, including the prices. Me and my brother have been telling my grandmother for years, like, you have to sell these at a higher price. And she's like, I can't, I can't, I just want to help the community. The Trujillos aren't in it for the money. It really has been a labor of love. But the farm is withering without its guests. There's so much. <laughs> There's so much work to do. The public couldn't visit in 2020 because of the pandemic. We were bummed, for sure. And this year isn't shaping up to be much better. My grandmother hasn't been really able to take care of it for a few years now. The Trujillos have set up a fundraiser online, a departure for a family not used to asking for help. I've set up a website and there's a donate button, and we've never done that before. Donations will be used to improve the irrigation system and make sure the community can enjoy the peonies for years to come. And I'll overhear them and it's like, oh yeah, I came like 30 years ago or I grew up right down the street and I've been coming every year. While there has been a huge increase in people, there's still this like core community that comes every year. They are beautiful, aren't they? And hope springs eternal. The Trujillos have already raised more than $5,600 of their $7,500 goal. If you'd like to help out, you can find a link to their GoFundMe account on thedenverchannel.com.